you'll find wheelchairs and IV bags in a hospital, but a live classical music performance is a less common sight in a medical facility. Now, that's not stopping one very grateful musician from organizing a series of concerts at a hospital in Montreal. Cellist Dennis Brott has a special reason for creating a series of health and wellness concerts and for choosing the University of Montreal Health Center, the hospital known as SHUM, as the venue. The cellist who organized this concert almost played his last piece ever in the year 2020. He nearly died then. I was in the 10% of people who survived having what I had in those early days of COVID, March 2020. Cellist Dennis Brott had an early case of COVID-19 and a severe one. Now he's organizing concerts in a special venue, a state-of-the-art amphitheater at Shum, the very hospital where doctors and nurses helped him survive. How do you thank someone for saving your life? I mean, I don't think there are words for that. So he thanks the hospital with the gift of music. Brat, the founder of the Montreal Chamber Music Festival, employs his expertise at arranging concert programs and sometimes plays in them with his talented students and colleagues. The audience makeup is a bit different from the music enthusiasts and general public who attend Brat's other events. This audience is composed of hospital patients, volunteers, nurses, and doctors, including Dr. Jean-Francois Lisey, director of critical care. Having this concert is, uh, is to totally amazing. Seeing a patient that was sick like Dennis, uh, he was in the critical care for nearly a month, and seeing him now in this situation is just the greatest reward as a doctor we can have, as nurse we can have, and as all the team in the hospital can have, to see people surviving disease and going back to their nearly normal life. It's, it's, the, it's the goal of the medicine, it's the goal of what we're doing. Brat has planned a total of four health and wellness concerts at Shum in the year 2022, giving back to healthcare professionals who helped during his darkest days in 2020. My physiotherapists and other doctors that I began to recognize and know, even though I was in a isolation, these were the only people I saw. Uh, so we <laughs> struck up a sort of friendship, uh, some human-to-human -human contact, and I said, if I do one thing, I'm coming back to this hospital to play for you. It's an honor to be here, to seeing him play the music. We talk about the art of medicine. We also talk about the art of music, and the two are related because of the power that music has to heal. Music creates more relaxation feeling, more calming feeling in the patient. We know that it's also produced some uh, endorphin that can reduce pain. So you can have the music as an, a strategy to reduce pain and also to reduce anxiety in patients. Music has healing power. Um, it had for me. While recovering in the hospital, the cellist befriended Dr. Pierre Rousseau, who besides being a radiation oncologist, is also a beginning violin student. And uh, he said, I bet you'd like to listen to some music. And I said, yeah. I mean, I had nothing. And he said, let me bring you something. So he brought me a CD player the next day uh, and some CDs. And I listened to Bach. <laughs> hours on end. There was nothing else to do um, with a tube in my throat, you know. Um, and uh, it was just sort of regenerative. Rousseau says the internationally renowned cellist showed his benevolent nature by watching some videos of his violin playing. 
This is just me like uh, doing very basic stuff and him being very supportive and uh, uh, giving me tricks about uh, improving, improving my quality of music by being more uh, active, more aggressive, more fluid. And uh, this was really beginning stuff, beginner stuff. And at the same time, uh, he took it seriously, I would say. So that's, uh, that's very funny and talks about him and his generosity uh, to others. That's such a wonderful gesture of Mr. Brett. Uh, uh, he wants to give back uh, to our hospital in a way that he is uh, such in control as uh, being a professional artist. And uh, the best he can do is just giving back in, in his music. Uh, money wouldn't do the same thing. Bringing music to this hospital is a, is a very, very meaningful thing for me personally because of what happened here two years ago. Violinist Ava Lesage calls the health and wellness concerts special opportunities. We enjoy playing for other people because it's such a fun sharing experience to give. And I think there's no better way to properly thank nurses, doctors, because they have given so much to, to patients, so much to my wonderful teacher, Dennis Bratt. And it's uh, like he said, it's, the, it's our way to just thank them. Mr. Bratt always brings us uh, uh, his best performers, and uh, I think he takes a lot of time in selecting what he chooses for us. I like uh, hearing live music in the hospital, and it makes us uh, a little bit go away from our day-to-day -day job. So it do create another atmosphere that we feel good and it's also make me feel more relaxed. I think music brings you somewhere else and takes you away from where you are and just making you feel better, at least for a while. I guess it's about empowering others. And if my what little I can do here at this hospital for Shum, for the people who gave me the greatest gift you can give anyone, which is the gift of life. Um, if I can give them the gift of music in whatever little way I can, uh, that's meaningful to me. That gives me a sense of purpose. Brat has organized two health and wellness concerts so far and has plans for two more near the end of the year. He says each performance is recorded and will be broadcast on closed circuit TV for patients in the hospital. And he's working to expand that TV coverage to share the music in nursing homes and other medical facilities. And if you'd like to hear the in-depth interview Dennis Brat gave about his experience in the hospital and the nightmares he suffered during a COVID coma, You'll find a link to that piece in the description below. Spotlight is supported by the Glenn and Carol Pearsall Adirondack Foundation, dedicated to improving the quality of life for year-round residents of the Adirondack Park.